Highclere Castle is a Grade I listed country house built in 1679 and largely renovated in the 1840s, with a park designed on the premises. Highclere Castle has been used as a filming location for several films and television series, including achieved international fame as the main location for the ITV historical drama series Downton Abbey. There are between 250 and 300 rooms in the castle. Highclere Castle has its own museum showcasing many artifacts from their trips, along with some reproductions. In 1838, the third Earl of Carnarvon commissioned architect Sir Charles Barry to transform the palace into the towering Jacobethan estate it is today. The formal drawing room is dominated by a 356-piece chandelier from the 1890s made of crystal. The pale green room also contains an 1895 Steinway Grand Piano. The bright music room has an ornate Baroque ceiling and simple oak floors. The walls are draped with 16th-century Italian embroidery. It costs around $1.5 million annually just to maintain the palace and its expansive grounds. The Skylit Saloon is the heart of the house and was designed in a Gothic style with a triple-height vaulted roof. It was the Victorian equivalent of a home theater with a magnificent gallery decorated with carved alcoves and hung with Belgian tapestries. Decorated in the Rococo Revival style, this south-facing room is filled with family portraits and furniture that dates as far back as the 1700s. The traditional Victorian family dining table, the other prominent décor feature, can seat up to 30 guests. The sprawling library, its masculine overtone is hard to miss. The architectural aesthetics of an imposing pair of dark mahogany columns, gilded bookcases and a costumed ceiling do not take attention away from the room's main purpose. The periwinkle blue of the walls and the rosewater pink of the upholstery are telling choices of the times, balancing heavy, dark furniture with a surround of softness. The four-poster canopy bed is hand-painted and probably a close cousin of the Chinese opium or wedding bed. The new owners, Lady Carnarvon has no qualms in rearranging the furniture and buying new paintings at London auctions. Despite improvements, some things haven't changed. There is no central heating at the castle, open fires are supplemented by storage heaters downstairs and the odd panel radiator in the bedrooms. The smoking room with a glimpse of the drawing room. Think of a drawing room as the modern living room, where people can sit down in a less formal setting for conversation. A Joshua Reynolds painting on the stairs. Aristocratic families would hang these portraits and art as a testament to their rank. A statue of the second Earl of Carnarvon welcomes visitors to the entrance hall. Highclere Castle the floors were mostly made of stone and wood, which means they would be cold in the winter, according to Victorian era. Behind the green baize door of the saloon, there is a stone staircase that leads to the old staff dining room and sitting rooms, the kitchens, cellars, and the other utility areas used by the servants of Highclere. About 100 years ago, the castle was the seat of the fifth Earl of Carnarvon, who famously discovered the tomb of the Egyptian boy Pharaoh Tutankhamun in 1922. In 2013, an Egyptian exhibition was held in the cellars of Highclere Castle, to mark the 90th anniversary when the 5th Earl of Carnarvon and Howard Carter broke down the gold wall into the shrine room in the tomb of Tutankhamun.
Highclere Castle is set amidst 1,000 acres of spectacular parkland, designed for the first Earl of Carnarvon by the famous 18th-century landscape gardener Capability Brown. The grounds of Highclere also are remarkable. Extensive gardens surround the castle as a sort of collection of habitats. There are six 18th-century follies framing views from which to admire the landscape. For example, Jackdaw's Castle on the East Lawns provides a charming view to the castle, the Etruscan Temple is a place in which to sit and admire the trees on Sidon Hill, whilst the Temple of Diana looks over the lake. White Border This garden is located behind a yew hedge in the Monk's Garden. It features white roses, clematis, agapanthus, peonies, hydrangeas, and poppies. In the monk's garden, a glasshouse called the Peach House grows peaches and fragrant roses for the castle.